Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So today's video is going to be very chill. We're just gonna sit down and do some nails. I'm not gonna do anything super crazy today because I thought we could like, you know, just chill out and relax together. And hopefully this video can help you relax, clear your mind and just take some time to yourself. But enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So here are my natural nails. And as you can see, they definitely do need a little bit of prep work. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to push back my cuticles using this cuticle pusher. So once I have all of my cuticles pushed back, I'm going to take this cuticle bit just to further lift up any dead skin. And when I'm using something like this around my cuticles, I like to make sure to use it on a very low speed. So anything between one and 5,000 RPMs, that just prevents you from over filing and causing any rings of fire and dents in your nails. Next, I'm gonna take these cuticle nippers just to cut back the excess dead skin. Okay, so my cuticles are nice and cut back. The next thing I'm going to do is cut the free edge and make everything nice and even. And lastly, I'm gonna take this mini buffer and quickly buff over the surface of the nails. I'm normally not too aggressive when I do this because I do wanna maintain the strength of my natural nails. So be very gentle whenever you're going over the surface with a buffer or a sanding band or anything like that because the goal of this step is to only remove the shine and that's it. You don't wanna to go too crazy and start filing so much that your nails are weak and damaged because we really do not want that. All right, so my nails are nice and prepped and I'm just going to very quickly put on my peel off base coat and I'll be right back. Oh, and for anyone who doesn't know for my peel off base coat, I just go in with some matte top coat and a little bit of cuticle oil. And the reason I'm using matte top coat instead of regular top coat is because matte is slightly more gentle on the nail surface and it's a little bit easier to pop off than regular top coat. So yeah, I just find that this works a little bit better for my nails. All right, so I have my matte peel off base coat fully applied and I also went ahead and sized out all of my nail tips. Instead of gluing them on with nail glue, I'm going to cure them on using the same matte top coat. All right, so all of my tips are glued on and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down using these tip cutters. And if you guys don't know, I'm not very good at using these. So crossed fingers that I can actually do a good job today because they're always like super crooked.
All right, so here's the length that I'm going for. Not too short, not too long. The last thing I'm gonna do is shape up the free edge using my 88 grit nail file. Okay, my nails are nice and prepped and now we're finally ready to move on to the application. So for today's application, we're actually gonna be using some poly gel and I did get this a few days ago. I have seen a few different nail content creators use this color in specific recently. I did see Nails by Vic use this as well as I believe Top Beauty, but I could be wrong about that. But I did see this color and I was like, wow, this is actually really nice. And I kinda wanna see if it works on my skin tone and yeah, that's what we're gonna be trying to do today. So I have my Dappen dish and I'm just going to put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in here. And for my application, I'm just gonna be using this cleanup brush here. I don't really like to use poly gel brushes because they're just a little bit too small and I find it very difficult to work with because they're so small. And I find that this just makes the process a lot faster. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this in two beads. I think one would be a little bit ambitious, so we're gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm first going to put a bead just halfway down the nail, and I'm not gonna use too much because these nails aren't super long and I don't need that much product. And now I'm gonna take this brush, and I'm first going to like pat it down and like spread it out over the nail. And once I have it kind of spread out, I'm going to blend this part upwards. And then I'm going to smooth out the sides and bring any extra product downwards. And for this excess, I'm just going to take it off with my brush and I'm actually just gonna put this back in the tube. All right, so this is what it is looking like. And as you can see, it's definitely not thick at all. I don't want these to be super thick for no reason. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this for a full 60 seconds. So now I'm going to do the cuticle bead and this bead, I'm not going to add too much because we're only going to be doing the cuticle area. So I'm first going to bring this upwards towards the cuticle area, and I'm making sure to get it as close to the cuticles without actually getting it too close and, you know, it starts flooding. And once I have the cuticle area done, I'm going to drag the rest of the product downwards and make sure that I maintain this apex here. Okay, so I think this looks pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and also cure this bead for 60 seconds. All right, so this nail is done and I actually really like this color against my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails.
So my application is complete. And as you can see, the color is definitely very peachy. I feel like in person, it's a little bit more pink, but to be honest, I don't think it's that bad and I kind of like it actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping and filing up my nails. But before we do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the surface with some isopropyl alcohol just to get rid of that sticky layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shape the undersides and the sidewalls of my nails using my 80-80 grit nail file. And because poly gel is more on the soft side, I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just going to reinforce the shape that's already there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and seal my cuticles using this ceramic bit here. And now I'm gonna go back in with my 80-80 grit nail file just to completely file over the surface of the nails and make sure everything is nice and smooth.
And now I'm gonna go in and shape up the free edge and just make it a little bit more crisp. And if you're wondering why I shape up the free edge last, that's because I wanna see how thick the tips of the nails are after I've completely gone over the surface and perfected it as much as I can. So that way I don't overfile and the tips are too thin because that leads to the tips breaking and that's just not fun. So yeah, just gonna take the same nail file and just make everything nice and sharp. And while I'm filing, I don't like to hold it perpendicular to the nail tip. I kind of like to angle it a little bit just so that it looks a little bit more C-curved from this angle. So here you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about. So my pointer finger is a little bit more curved upwards, whereas my middle finger is just straight across. I don't mind the straight across look. I just want something that looks a little bit more sharp today. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. So for my pinky finger, I do like to kind of like do something really like weird with my fingers. I like to grab onto my pinky using my other fingers and I like to file it this way because the pinky is the smallest finger and it just makes it feel a little bit more secure because if I'm just like filing like this, it might pop off and I really don't want that. So I like to hold down my pinky using my other fingers and again, I'm holding the nail file at an angle just so that I can get that more curved look. All right, so I have all of the ends shaped up and to make it just look even more crisp, I'm gonna go back in with my ceramic bit just to file the undersides of the nail and make it a little bit more C-curved. All right, and lastly, I'm going to buff my nails using my mini buffer. So the shaping is complete and now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. And when I come back, we'll jump straight into the nail art process. Okay, so my hands are washed and now we are finally ready to move on to the nail art. And for today's nail art, we're doing something super, super, super simple because I really just want to chill out and relax and like not do anything too crazy. So we're probably just gonna do like some white Frenchies or something like that. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna do just some white Frenchies, keep it nice and like cute and classy. And I might throw in some of these white flowers, not exactly sure yet. We'll see how I'm feeling once I get to this step. So I'm just gonna take my mixing plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of white gel polish on it. And I'm gonna take the longest nail art brush that I have to go ahead and create the outline first. Now, normally when I'm doing a French tip, the first thing that I like to do is create a center like line down the middle. So just something like that. And then I go on either side and I curve it towards this center right here. All right, so this is what it is looking like so far. And now I'm going to fill in the empty gaps using this nail art brush here. OK, 
Okay, so this is the French tip. And before I go ahead and cure this, I'm going to wipe down the sides and make sure that nothing is running. And then I'm gonna cure this for a full 30 seconds.
All right, so the French tips are done. To be honest, I really don't feel like using these flowers. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and stop here. To finish this off, I'm gonna go in with one layer of top coat. All right, and now I'm gonna finish this off with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really do hope that this video was relaxing. And you know, if you've been having a rough week, I do hope that this allowed you to kind of take some time to yourself and just hang out for a little bit, even if it's just for a little while. And I know that I normally don't do anything this simple, but I thought it was a good change of pace, especially since this is something that's supposed to be a little bit more chilled and relaxed. I didn't want to do anything that's too crazy or focused too much on nail art or anything too complicated. Complicated. And with that being said, I would love to hear what you guys think of this kind of video down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, I will definitely be making more videos like these in the future. But as always, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.